This is an AI agent doing financial analysis. I use it to build an LLM Lang chain app that could analyze financial statements. In fact, it's doing it without fine tuning on this 300 page banking annual report right now. I'm gonna teach you how to build it in five minutes. I went down the rabbit hole to discover how to use your own documents to build AI powered large language model apps with Langchain and the results speak for themselves. But first of all, why should we even bother trying to use our own documents? We've already built our own large language model app with Streamlit. Why the need for docos? Well, it gives you the ultimate flexibility to leverage large language models for tasks that are specific to you. Provide meeting minutes and create a summary. You could upload an assignment outline and have a response generated. Upload an annual report and have a large language model do the financial analysis for you. In fact, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building our very own personal AI powered investment banker using Streamlit and our own annual report. To get started, we first need to install some dependencies, namely Langchain, OpenAI, Streamlit, TikToken, ChromaDB, Pi PDF and Crypto Dome. While we're at it, we're gonna need to get an OpenAI API key. It's optional to use the OpenAI service. You could substitute it out for Llama CPP or one of the Hugging Face hosted models. You want a vid on that? Let me know. Time to create our app. First up, in a new Python file called app.py, we're gonna import some initial dependencies. OS is going to be used to set the API key. From langchain.llms, we'll import the OpenAI service. This will be the core LLM we use. We'll also bring in Streamlit while we're at it. Once that's done, we can set the API key and create the OpenAI service as an LLM. If we wanted to, we could tune the temperature depending on how creative or objective we wanted our responses. We also need somewhere to pass the prompt. We can use the streamlit.text input element to do this. If our user hits enter, we need a way to send the prompt to the LLM. Let's throw in an if statement here and write out the text of the screen using streamlit.write. To start the app, it's relatively straightforward. Just write streamlit run app.py or whatever your Python file is named. Side note, all this code is gonna be available in the description below so you can give it a crack yourself. This gives us a baseline app and uses OpenAI to generate responses but there's one key issue here. We haven't gone and used our own documents yet. Let's fix that. But before we do, a word from our sponsors, me. If you'd like to get up and running with Python for machine learning, head over to go.courses from Nick forward slash Python, where you can take my end-to-end -end tech fundamentals course. Or if you want to dive straight into the deep end, you can check out my full stack machine learning course at this link here and use YouTube 50 to get 50% off right now. Back to the video. We need to bring in some more dependencies. So at the top of our script, we're going to bring in pi PDF loader from langchain.document loaders and chroma from from langchain.vector stores. PyPDF loader is used to load and pass a PDF into memory. Chroma is a vector store that is critical to using your own documents. What actually happens as far as I know is your document is tokenized and loaded into Chroma for querying later on. This allows you to perform similarity search using similarity metrics like Euclidean distance. Also similar to how Pinecone works. We'll do this in a sec. All right, time to load up our document. Using the PyPDF loader class, we're going to upload a banking annual report. I've got the files stored in the same place as my Python script so I can just pass the name of the document direct to the class. If you wanted to use your own document, you could sub in the name of the file here. In this case, it's got to be a PDF, but there are other loaders available inside of Langchain. We can then load the document into Chroma using the from documents method. To do this, pass the pages from the PDF to the loader method. And then back to that similarity search. Using a Streamlit expander class, we can search through the document in natural text and render the results to the screen. Say we ask about the performance of the bank. Chroma will return the relevant passages from the document loaded. These will eventually be passed through to the Langchain agent to generate a human-like response based on that context. But we don't need to do this manually. We can use the vector store agent from Langchain. This will package it all up pretty nicely. Last set of imports, home stretch now. First up, we'll import create vector store agent, vector store toolkit, and vector store info from langchain.agents.agent toolkits. The vector store info class, as far as I can tell, just provides context about the store, AKA the PDF that we're gonna pass through to our LLM agent. You just pass your name, description, and Chroma store to that specific class. Then the magic happens. We can pass the vector store info wrapper to vector store toolkit. This makes the PDF available as a tool to Langchain, similar to how we use the Wikipedia toolkit in the Langchain crash course video. And last but not least, bring it together with the vector store agent. This is the most critical part. So the agent creator class will pass through our original open AI LLM service and the vector store toolkit. This packages it all up nicely and will in effect give our large language model agent access to our PDF. Rather than just outputting responses from the LLM like we had previously, we can now use the agent and run the prompt through it. And again, write out the responses to the screen. This allows us to ask things like, what was the net profit of the company? With the response that we're getting back from our GPT investment banker being 4,706 million or 56% on the prior year, which just so happens to match note six on earnings per share in the notes to the financial statements. What initiatives did the bank take towards sustainability? Our model is calling out the Net Zero Asset Managers Initiative and the Net Zero Banking Alliance. This is pretty closely tied to the governance section in the financial statement as well. And last but not least, summarize the financial performance of the bank. 
The model calls out net profit after taxes increasing by 56% compared to the prior year and EPS increasing by 51%. This just so happens to match the letter from the chair of the board of the remuneration committee calling out those exact same NPAT and EPS numbers. The document used was roughly 300 pages in length, so documents can take a little while to return a response. That being said, in 45 lines of code, we've got our very own personal investment banker. Not too shabby. If you want to check out the Langchain Crash Course video I did, go and click here.